I want to be a filmmaker, you want to be a filmmaker, let's talk about it. Alright guys, so this week I thought we would do another After Effects tutorial. And um, the one we're going to be doing this week is a text message visual effect. Um, as technology becomes more and more, more and more of an integral part of our lives, uh, we're going to have to show it more and more in film um, how uh, technology um, is used in everyone's lives and uh, text messages back and forth between people. So things like this from The Fault in Our Stars or here from Nonstop or here from uh, House of Cards. Um, these are three good examples of um, ways that people have uh, done it in the past. Um, here with House of Cards, you have a more clean look to go with the show. Um, you got the uh, the um, the name of the people sending and the time up there. Here with Nonstop, it's a little more dynamic and uh, you know it's got a more of an action feel to it. Um, and it's got the time. Um, and then here with uh, Fault in Our Stars, we've got a more simple, um, just kind of. I don't know. Uh, it, it fits the movie, so um, that's that's the point I'm trying to get across. You have you have to make sure that it fits the movie, um, that it needs to be there. That you can't tell this information any other way. Um, and so the visual effect um, that we'll be doing today will be that. Um, so first thing you want to do is go out and shoot a um, a shot of someone texting. So um, this isn't actually for anything, but um, if you were going to make this, you know, if you needed this for a short film for something specific, then um, you would, you know, just use whatever shot you have for that. Um, but since I'm not doing anything specific for a short film, I just went out and shot this um, just for this tutorial. So um, the what I did was I shot where, you know, you have to have some kind of a space. Um, somewhere where the messages can pop up. This is a very big space. I don't think I'm going to need to use all this space, um, but it's nice that it's there. So um, having me on one side of the screen and having all the space somewhere else, you can have it up, um, up above your character, down below, right, left, wherever you really want. Um, but this is the shot I'm going to be using. And um, yeah, as you can see in these pictures, they also have a lot of space on the sides um, right here. Not a whole lot of space, but enough. Um, here you got all this, almost like half the uh, frame. And then with this, uh, he's in focus, and everything back here is out of focus, so that's fine. Um, and then the messages went over this character down here. So, um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, so then after you've done that, you want to go ahead and open up After Effects and import your footage. Go here, use. All right. So after you've imported it, create a new composition by dragging and dropping. And I'm just going to scrub real quick to right about here which is where it starts. I had to uh, put it on my tripod and go back to where I was standing. So um, something like that, Just get it right on there, one frame. Okay, all right, so now that we're all set, what you wanna do first is just go ahead and create a new layer. Actually, before you do that, before you even do that, find the spot where your character pulls out their phone or if they already have their phone when their fingers start moving just wherever you want it to start um, popping up and I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, just kind of the classic blue and uh, green from like an iPhone um, so here we go that should work something like that maybe I think that looks good make comp size and hit OK now you're gonna come up here um, whatever shape you want I'm just gonna do that rounded rectangle kind of shape that uh, most text bubbles have and this is going to be a very basic tutorial. It's not going to um, be too crazy. Um, I'm not going to do a um, have the text appearing in the bubble. It's just going to pop up all at once, how it does in House of Cards, um, where the bubble pops up and the text comes up with it. The text doesn't grow into the bubble. Um, that's that's an, a tutorial for another day. I can definitely do that if you guys want me to. Um, but it's it's a little more complex. It takes a little more time. So I thought for this week we would just go over um, a general basis of uh, this effect. So then the next thing you want to do is um, make another layer. And this is going to be your text layer and make sure it's you know it's going to fit because that is way too big something like that is all right <clears throat> and um since i don't have anything you know i don't have a specific narrative purpose for the shot i'm just going to kind of do something random so hey where are you something just whatever um uh let's make it a little longer i've been waiting for well, i don't know 20 minutes all right, so there you go. You've got the basis of the uh, text you're going to use. And um, 
as you can see, that's not going to fit. We can adjust uh, the, the text or the bubble, whatever we want to do, um, to fit. And, you know, you can make this text white or uh, black, whatever you want it to be. Gray, doesn't matter. You can do whatever color bubble, whatever color text. It's a very laid-back um, effect. Um, just the basis of things is uh, what we're going to go over today. Um, but real quick, I always like to rename all of my stuff to, to stay organized in my uh, <clears throat> my timeline. So we're going to call that bubble. Bubble. We're going to call this text. Okay. So now that we've got that, um, obviously this isn't going to fit. So what I think we should do is probably drop that down and bring that up. I think that's good. And then um, <coughs> I'm going to zoom in here real quick just so that we have a good, good look at what we're doing. So spread that out maybe a little more. No, right there, and I think I think that looks really good. So yeah, there you go. Um, but what I am gonna do actually is move this bubble. I don't want it to be on that uh that pole right there, a light post. Okay, so right there we've got a good basis for this effect. I think that looks really cool, and um, it as you can see, it's very simple. It's just two layers. That's all it is. Um, and then <clears throat> we're going to pre-compose those in a second. But before we do that, um, I want to do one more thing that I think will add a really nice um, electronic technology look to what we're trying to do. Um, and, you know, some phones, it's a little more opaque like this where there's not really any glow or anything. Um, but I, would, I, th I think it always looks really cool. So you can, you can leave it like that, and I think that looks good and a little modern, but something like this, I think, is going to add a lot. So that's a glow. And as you can see, it changed the color a lot. So, but there we go. So just when you're choosing the color for that uh, bubble layer, just make sure you're aware that if you are thinking of adding that glow on there, that it is going to affect it a little bit. Um, so there you go. You got the glow radius. Spread it out maybe a little bit. And I think that looks really cool. It looks like it's straight out of a screen. And one other thing that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try it out. If it doesn't look good, I can always go back. But I like to drop the opacity of the bubble to about 80%. Something like that, where it interacts with the background. And I think that looks so cool. I think um, it looks like it's right off of a screen. Um, and then, I, I don't know, I just think it looks really good. So um, the reason I didn't pre-compose these two layers before we did that is because I didn't want the glow and the opacity to affect the text. So just to make it easier to read. So we're going to go ahead and pre-compose those right now then. And we can just name that for <clears throat> first bubble. And then there you go. That's pretty much it. So you um, go to uh, the part where it pulls out the phone. And that's when you want the bubble to pop up. So something like that. Really cool. Um, really sleek, I think. And I think it looks really good type a little bit and pop it up. So I think that's good. Now, all you have to do if you want the other ones to pop up, if you want um, responses from whoever they're texting to pop up, all you got to do is the same thing we just did, but offset the time just a little. So we'll go, we'll go solid and we'll go with that green like I was saying. I'm not going to take the time to type anything in it. I'm just going to, just for the sake of a placeholder. So maybe something right there like that I think looks good add a glow radius throw it up a bit drop the opacity just a tad and there you go I think we've got a really nice looking effect and something that you know will make your film stand out um, compared to others for the um, the effect <clears throat> the portion of you know showing text messages so um yeah so if you want you got a our bottom layer right here is this brown one so that's when that pops up our character starts typing, then you may, may, maybe want to push this back a little bit so that it gives the other person time to respond. And that's when you want the green one to pop up, you know, the response to pop up. Um, and then you just do the text the same way you did with that one. And, you know, you can go back and forth for however long you want, however many bubbles you want. doesn't matter. You can, um, you can make a new layer, new text layer like we did for this, and put the name of the person and the date and the time or whatever like it was in House of Cards. But, yeah, like I said, this effect is very um, – you can really do whatever you want, and there's not really a set – um, criteria for this effect and I think it looks really good um, and I, I don't know I think I think it's a really great way to show text and film so yeah if you like what you saw here don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this has been a runaway brain production and I'll see you guys next time